Fulton County school leaders say as the new school year began, they were owed $21,000 in outstanding lunch debts from students, and they say it's time for their families to pay up. But one man who doesn't even, even have children in that school district has taken it upon himself to help those families. Our Monique Blair has the story new at 11. Donations for the school lunch crisis. Come and get your car washed. Scott Ellis and several other Franklin County residents have spent several days washing cars in return for donations. What we're trying to do is fight for lunchroom equality to make sure that these kids don't feel ashamed of themselves, don't feel ashamed of their parents. They just feel like a student. So far, Ellis has raised over $400 that will go towards offsetting the thousands of dollars parents of students who attend Franklin County Public Schools owe to the food services program. It's not their problem that their parents owe this bill, so we should not take that out on them. Franklin County Public School Superintendent Chrissy Jones says at the beginning of the school year there was roughly $21,000 in outstanding debts, but the school system has since regained some of that money. Superintendent Jones says the students who owe money are given a complimentary alternative lunch consisting of a grilled cheese, a vegetable, a fruit, and milk. But Ellis says singling these kids out isn't fair. Because you can see that kid over there, hey, I got a school pizza. You got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ha, ha, ha. No, that's not a joke. You know, so we're just trying to make sure that the kids get a fair shake in the lunchroom. We're going to do this until the deficit goes away. And if that takes a year, so be it. That's how long we'll be here. In Frankfurt, Monique Blair, WKYT. And Superintendent Jones tells us the school system is willing to work with each family that owes money.